everybody has chains everybody has limitations weaknesses don't my dear daughters and dear sons i always remain upset for you i spent my whole life for you for the umma of holy prophet for the generation of holy prophet you know i have never done any 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 business out of all these propagation propagations and teachings and halaqas and hidayah and writing the books i have not done anything 550 books are published you know these are not my business i don't receive a single penny 8000 lectures are in your hands i don't receive any royalties no absolutely nothing i have not done anything for myself whatever i can do with the command and with the will of almighty allah for just two things just to please my lord and to please my beloved prophet and to bring you on right path to provide you with the light of good character to provide you the light the noor of good moral conduct to bring the light the noor on your foreheads of sujood or prostration to provide you pure characters when you become good pure having excellent morals and behaviors and at least i will be able to get a smile from my prophet beloved prophet i will be able to get a smile from the presence of almighty lord he will say you have done some work i'm living for you for the sake of almighty allah and if you don't respond and you spend your days and nights and your lives in laziness waiting other people other brothers and sisters to lead nobody will lead and life will go away the time will pass every single person amongst you is has to be a leader when you get married you become leader of your house you take the matters in your hand you or your wives you become the leader of their small unit they start a small unit of allah's work in the same way as you start the unit of your family this is allah's work of course this is not a job which will pay you monthly salary or weekly salary this will not pay you but it will pay i tell you it will pay i can't you how much payment you get out of that when you see the smiling face of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you see the smile of the player of almighty allah and when you the feel the player comes into your heart and your inner self connected with the presence of almighty allah you can't imagine what kind of regard this is this is a reward the best of the rewards take some time off from your other engagements and fix that time just for allah for your lord and this is a vessel this is a a means i mean hajul quran work this is a means for you to take you to almighty allah be humble servants of almighty allah and do his work become his practicing servants when you achieve the new companies new companionship through if you get it's the this you're working this itself is a companionship it takes you away from bad company and leads you towards good companies at least where you hear allah's name holy prophet's name remembrance of almighty allah good words where you receive good words you receive good thoughts 
you receive good designs how to work good thinkings good plannings you take and give assignments to one another you sit together discuss the matters matters about what about allah's work about holy prophet's work allah will get will be pleased with you and holy prophet will be pleased with you the one i guarantee you the one who spends his whole life in serving holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in serving allah when the first evening of the grave will arrive and certain three questions will be put on him by the angels and the last question would be about holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is he? do you know him then i guarantee if you serve your whole life spend your whole life in serving allah and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what the prophet wills answer on your behalf saying to angel don't ask him ask me he is my beloved son he is my sincere servant he has been working throughout his life for me he is my loyal servant just fix hours for every day fix some hours from every day of your life every day and spend those hours just for the sake of allah create your own job develop your libraries establish a halaqa with your few friends start the halaqa of quran start teaching discussing encyclopedia of the holy quran start the halaqa of mirhaj us-sawi start the halaqa now the new book jami ul ahkam is coming halaqa of jami ul ahkam start the halaqa of your own learnings your own subjects about the kids about the allah's work you have hundreds of ways hundreds of ways and means you can develop start the halaqas for tarbiya how to make new friends and few members of this delegation new traveler of this path how to make a new traveler of this path how to make a new companion in this path how to convince him how to go there approach him give him the message get his respond do halaqa do zikr and do fikr remember reflection you can create your own jobs your own business your own engagements no need of waiting for any organizational unit nothing every single person amongst you is under liability ud'u ila sabil rabbika bil hikma every single person is a da'i he is a caller every single person is an inviter he has to give a call he has to invite the other and inviting he has to look into himself himself that how much i am practicing about what i am inviting to but this is a communication of your speech your word and your deed your outer self your inner self you are responsible for this purification process of your life nobody will come to purify you this is the companionship which you have already received sit down on the on computer or on tv every day listen a part of lectures read some books read the holy quran with translation with tafsir read the books of hadith other books which you like listen some lectures take points from that make your notes become the speaker transform it transfer it to other convey it to other whatever you learn every day convey it to some other people sahaba the companions and their followers used to sit down along with kids and used to read the hadith of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam somebody asked what do they understand they are small kids he said even they don't understand at least i will remember i am repeating my beloved prophet's esteemed prophet's words i will remember them i will be able to learn them so you have to create your own activities and assignments